Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lisa, Smooches Makeup Artistry. I wanted to bring to you my top beauty products of 2014. This by no means encompasses all of my favorites, but I wanted to bring to you items that I gravitated towards the most. There are items that didn't make a reappearance from 2013. Um, that's because they're great. And then there are items that were just released last year that I loved and I decided to keep around, okay? So uh, I did not include any skincare because it's really, really simple. My skincare routine, and I'm going to have a separate video for that. Most of my skincare comes from what I intake. I am by no means a health nut, but I learned how to eliminate certain things out of my diet that makes my skin healthy, and a lot of that comes from that, and hereditary, and it's hereditary, what? And it's hereditary. There, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to start with primers, and I'm not going to do like I did with my natural hair care video. Yes, if you wanted to see my favorite products for my hair, check the link below, and you can see what I use. Right now, my hair is twisted. It's a two-strand twist, and girl, boy, bye. My hair has been like, bye, see you later. Where is it? The shrinkage is unreal. Um, as you can see, yeah, this is my hair. Um, and I can take it all the way down and actually tie it, but then it's like, it just goes away. It goes away. But I'm okay with that. Um, I'll probably, once it gets a little older, we'll stretch it. I just intend to have these in about two to three weeks. I just wanted to kind of give it a rest, and I love to be carefree. Yeah, so. My favorites are from Laura Geller. This is called Spackle. And Spackle has been around for quite some time, and it has been one of my go-to favorites for so long. And I don't always use primer, but when I do, or especially when I use it on clients, I'm using the Laura Geller Spackle Primer. It's under makeup primer. It's going to give your skin a smooth canvas. It's going to fill in any pores. It's just going to make it so easy for the makeup to adhere to and just look bomb, okay? Bomb, good, nice, perfect, yeah. My second one is Max Prep and Prime and this is the skin base visage. It's very small but a little goes a long way and this bad boy is the love of my life. Yeah and I use these on special occasions so the few times that I do go out and um, you know I want that flawless look and skin that's what I use okay. As far as prepping and priming my skin I also tend to gravitate towards this Palmer's um, Skin Success. It is even toed fade cream and don't get me wrong, it is not a um, skin brightening or bleaching agent because ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I love the skin that I'm in. I'm not trying to change it, but um, I can't even, like, anyway. This is just a really heavy cream. I put it on at night. Um, if there's any blemishes, it really totally erases them. And I'm working on it um, for my fat neck here. Um, my neck area is, has always been a lot darker than my face. And it was so hard at first to find foundation. Because you go in the, stu in the stores or this was before I even started doing makeup. They're like, let me just match it up to your jawline or let me match it up to your neck. Or should I just say, my neck is a couple shades darker. So it's going to look funny because my, my chest for the most part is always exposed. My chest and my face are the same color. So I don't go by that. I don't go by that when I'm picking out my foundation. But I also just wanted to even up my neck and it's working. Um, I'm not really consistent, so I'm going to start doing that. But yeah, that that's my favorite thing to do right there as far as prepping my skin. This is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation, one of my hands down favorites. I've tried so many different foundations, but my go-to on an everyday basis is this. I am NW43. And I also use BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation, and in that I am the color Mocha. This foundation is like from 3 to $4, depending on what you know the price is on their website they have a lot of sales girl I racked up I have a lot they're pretty 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 good and um, those are my two favorite foundations now for concealers my favorite concealer is the NYX above and beyond full coverage concealer comes in this little pot and this concealer is what I usually use just to clean up my brows so this is my favorite go-to for my brows and then I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This bad boy here is a lifesaver. They are so inexpensive. I have every color in the collection. And I love that the collection goes from very, very pale skin to very, very dark skin. I love companies that cater to every female. Because that's what it's all about. Okay. 
matte brown pencil and the color is spiked. I love it because it's so easily easy to handle and it, again you just turn it up it lasts a long time and you just it's easy to control the product and I just love it and it actually makes your fill in look like hair it's not like you just took a magic marker and drew on your eyebrows but if that's what you want to do you can do that I'm not knocking you I just I just don't want to do that okay next is the Anastasia dip brow pomade that's one of my favorites as well and my favorite color to use is chocolate so um, it's a little bit more um, difficult if you're beginning to, to use the pomade because you have to use it with a brush and you have to have very very good hands to do that my favorite two eyeliners one is the I'm not getting up to get it so I'm just going to Put a picture in it is from mac and it is the fluid line love it love it love it and then there is the wet and wild um does it have a certain name i don't know it's wet and wild eyeliner um both of the eyeliners are cream and cream eyeliners are so much to me easier to manage and to put on to apply your liner i only use cream liners for my upper lid my lash line and for my waterline I only have one favorite and that is from MAC and that is the cold pencil and the color is feline so that's what goes right into my waterline uh, favorite mascaras are the falsies by Maybelline um, this is the flared edition, but I like any of the falsies. As um, long as it's waterproof, it does really well. Sometimes I combine it with my other fave, which is MAC Waterfast Lash. What I do, I always put a base on my eyelid. And my favorite primers are from MAC, and they are the Paint Pots. Um, these are, I have like a ton of these. But my favorites are Groundwork, Painterly, and soft ochre I think those three are my favorite because they're more so of a flesh tone and when I just don't want it to alter any of the colors that I'm putting on I use a flesh tone base for my eye lid yeah now oh thank you Jesus Matt came back out I don't know how long it's been out because I was having I had palpitations I was hurting you know when you get a product that you really love and then they discontinue you like what what? What, 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 what? Are you kidding me? So oh, yeah, this is what happened. But they hooked the sister up. We are back in business. And this is called the MAC Grease Paint Stick. <sighs> this is in the color, well, it's just color B. Absolutely. Oh my god, when I first started in makeup, this is my favorite thing to have. This is the perfect way to do a smoky eye. You can just apply it and smudge it it's just like a chubby stick um but i also love this for a base like it makes your shadows pop and this bad boy stays on all day you're good to go i absolutely love it and for eyeshadows we're going to basically gravitate towards i basically gravitated towards palettes urban decay naked three palette um, I have the other naked and I just love them. I love the quality of them. I love the colors selection. Um, something that you can gravitate towards um, on a daily basis. So it's really, really cool. I love them. I love how pigmented they are. And yeah, Naked 3 palette. Okay. And this is the coolest case ever. Now, to my next palettes. These palettes I love for numerous reasons. The color payoffs are great, but I also love that they are all so sleek and you can just slide them into your purse, your bag, and you're good to go. Now, um, I want to talk about the It's Judy Time palette from BH Cosmetics. If you don't know who Judy is, where you been? Like, I love Judy for real, for real, and I love her daily vlogs, and I just had to have this palette, and BH Cosmetics is so inexpensive, so definitely check it out. Her palette is more so of a neutral palette as well, but she has some colors to add a little, you know, pop to your lids if you'd like so, if you'd like to, and uh, yeah, I, I love this palette. Hands down, one of my favorite palettes of all times that's in rotation again for 2014 is the Lorac Pro Palette. 
Oh, this palette has saved my life so many times. Again, they're all neutrals. And that is the best type of palette to have. Um, you know, because these are colors that you're going to use a lot. Now, my hands down favorite palette of this year, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes now. I don't know if this is going to zoom in right. But, yeah. Okay, but that's what I'm wearing today. All the eyeshadows, I believe, which are four of them, are from this palette. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorzy Palette. Like, this palette has been such a joy to have this year. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So, and I believe I'm going to link some hauls down below so that you guys can actually see the swatches that I've done of these palettes. I do also have this small palette. It is from NARS and the palette is called New Wave Palette. I would go to the NARS counter and visit this bad boy because I was like, I'm coming back for you. You don't know it, but I'm coming back for you. The colors are so pigmented and beautiful. And voila, this is what it looks like. I love the purple in this. I think purple looks great on all complexions. So it's great. I love this purple. I love this beautiful iridescent um, green. This is another lavender. This is a white, black, and then this is like a rich royal blue. Um, I cannot forget an, a very, very, very special eyeshadow of mine. And I just pulled one out, but I actually love all of them. Um, these are by Sugar Pill. And these are the Loose Eyeshadow Palette. Mm. Loose Eyeshadow. And they come in these wonderful pots. My favorite from her is called Lumi. Lumi appears to be white, but it has like this iridescent turquoise and bits of blue in it. And if you want to see what Lumi looks like on, you can definitely check out my last Get Ready With Me video. I used Lumi on top of a dark base, which made Lumi turn into a completely different color than the white. And I actually really, really loved it. Two more things I want to talk about for my eyes are glitter. I love glitter. And my favorite brand that has been reoccurring and since they came out is from Lit Cosmetics. Like these... I will leave you a video below from back in the day when I did it, when I first did a haul with them. Like, my favorite glitter, hands down, is from Lit. I don't know. I don't want to spill it. But if you can see, all that goodness. Okay. And for my lids also, I gravitate towards more than the shadows that I have or the MAC pigments. And this one is Copper Sparkle. This is one of my faves, especially for the fall and the winter around this time of the year. It is just a beautiful copper shimmer. Okay. I want to do two other things, just a little miscellaneous if you want to say. My favorite setting powder is the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the transparent finishing powder. You want to set your concealer. You want to just set your foundation. That's the way to go. I also wanted to give a mention to the favorite shine, my favorite shine eraser. Like seriously, we talk about setting powders, but there are times when you wear your foundation, you may not have setting powder, powder you may not have set it, you may not do the whole highlighting and contour thing, but you have oily skin. Elf Shine Eraser is a godsend. There are 50 sheets in here. And these sheets you use individually. I have a big head, so I put two of them like side by side or where I need it. Because throughout the day, like towards the middle of the day or the evening, my skin is really oily. This does not remove any of your makeup. It will definitely soak up all the oils in your skin without leaving it feeling dry. So, And this is a dollar. I want to talk about lips. And lips are really important. Because don't nobody like a dry, cracked up lip, okay? Nobody. And my favorite moisturizers for my lips. My favorite for keeping them um, uncrustiness on it, or keeping the crustiness in nisms away, uh, is called, it's from Aquaphor. Aquaphor? Aquaphor. Okay, Aquaphor is basically from Eucerin. And if you, you use Eucerin if you have like, um, eczema, psoriasis, stuff like that. So I'm really familiar with Eucerin. And it smells horrible. It doesn't feel as good as my next product, but it does the trick. The trick. So I really, really like that. 
Um, but my, my favorite, hands down, is so easy and so simple. I love that they came out with this, is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. And look, look how cute that is. Look at how cute you are, you little pookie wookie. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy, and I have this one is in Cocoa Butter. But it's for soft glowing lips. They have Cocoa Butter. I've seen just your original, and I've also seen... Um, Rosy lips. Rosy lips took a while for me to get used to the smell because I don't really like the smell of like roses. I don't know what girl does it, but mm, whatever. But this cocoa butter one, hmm, I love the smell and I love what it does. And I always go to sleep with this on my lips, especially in the winter time because that's when the wind and the elements are most damaging. And this is the most delicate skin that you have. So. My favorite liners are from NYX, NYX, and MAC lip liners. Any color, I don't care. They're my favorite. They last all day. I never have a problem with them at all. And they help keep your lipsticks from, uh, uh, what do you call it, bleeding out. My favorite lipsticks from Wet n Wild are the long-lasting, whatever you want to call them, lipsticks. I'll put that below. And every color I love. They are matte. So they can be drying, but they last a long time and they're like 99 cents. Okay, another one of my favorites is from Makeup Forever. And this is the color, it's a Rouge Intense um, color and it's number 15. Y'all see, can you see, can you see that purple? What I'm wearing today, which I have pretty much eaten off, um, is a glazed lip paint from LA Girl. And these are pretty new. I have just about all the colors that they have listed, but, and this one is called um, Daring. I love how it goes on. It has a, gives a nice little tingling feeling. And yeah, Revlon Color Burst. I love their matte bombs. This color also is my favorite. You see, I tend to lean towards the purples and the dark plums and all that good stuff. NYX came out with a Simply Vamp line. I have a haul for that. I'm going to link all these videos below. This line is awesome. They're all really dark colors, but they're all like um, lip creams. Um, my last two favorite lip products, um, this one is from NYX. Again, they have made a another appearance and this is called butter gloss all NYX butter glosses are so perfect if you're a gloss type of chick and not really into lipsticks or you want to save a few dollars get the gloss this is definitely what you see is what you get your lips feel just like butter it's called butter gloss that's what it will feel like they um the OCC lip charts are my favorite they um this is the original they are liquid and they dry matte but they're not drying, not to my lips anyway. They also have a primer that I would suggest that you would just invest in. And you can put that on to prepare your lips for the product. And they're very, very pigmented. And they recently came out with a metallic line. And this was hands down like my favorite from that metallic line. Like, yeah, I have to do a video so you guys can see it. Because doing it right here is not going to do it any justice. But this is called Black Metal Dahlia. And it is like the best deep red I've ever seen and it has all this metallic sparkle in it it is just the perfect party lip okay now for blushes I have a total of three little babies we're gonna start with uh, max raisin it is beautiful for this time of the year for the winter and I have another one that is called Simmer that is also from MAC. It is a mineralized blush and it's like a, a duo. It's mixed. Okay. Now my favorite of all time had to make its reappearance again in 2014 because that's what it does. It's like just that good. This is a NARS blush and it is called Taj Mahal. Look at this blush. This is a beautiful burnt orange with hints of gold in it which it's really ethnic friendly like this color looks great on everybody but for us brown girls I have one product that I used a lot this year and it is the mineralized skin finish from MAC I was not fortunate enough to get the whisper of guilt that everybody has because y'all have us bought the store out and online out but this is soft and gentle it's just about the same it is a beautiful way to highlight your cheekbones and just give that subtle glow to your skin. I love it. Love it. I want to talk to you guys about nail polishes. My favorite brand 
I, I use lots of brands. I used to only go to the nail salon to get my nails done. So I know um, of the higher end brands, but my favorites 2014 have been drugstore brands. And my hands down favorite is Sally Henson. Just about anything from her. But she came out with the Miracle Gel and I absolutely love this stuff. You don't need a heat lamp for it. You just need the top coat, which I have somewhere. Um, and you just buy them. Now, they're a little expensive though. So, I believe she now has something new that I have to run to the store to get that it's just a top coat that will go with any of her nail polishes. So, you don't have to keep buying just this nail polish specifically. You can buy her nail polishes that are a little bit less expensive. Um, my, my favorite nail polish for a quick dry is from NYC. It's 99 cent. You find it at your drugstore. It's called in a New York Minute. I absolutely love this because I don't have time to sit with my nails drying. I don't. And I paint my nails at night. I go to bed. I'm like this. Seriously, I'm in the bed like this trying to keep them dry over the covers. Keep them from messing up. And then I wake up in the morning and it's like smushed up to my sheet. Yeah, so this has been a lifesaver. Alright, last but not least, I think an honorable mention or is deserved of these little funky fingers nail polishes. I found this at Five Below and they sell these at Five Below for three, for five dollars. And this is what I have on my pointer and ring finger. I cannot zoom in, but I'll show you one of the, a picture if you can't see it. But yeah, they have all different colors. The actual and I love them for their confetti and glitter. The actual colored polish, I don't really like that much. It doesn't stay on that long, so... Eh. But if you're looking for like glitter, confetti, or something just to spice up your nails, I would definitely say Funky Fingers. And Alright guys, we are getting ready to wrap this bad boy up. I just want to talk a little bit about my favorite lashes. You guys know I don't really do lashes because I'm okay with mine. But, bam! Little... You're just from your local hood beauty supply store and they are like 99 cents they don't really have a certain name so you have to just like if you have these in your area just call them the blue lashes I don't know I got these from a store in Philly um, also my favorites are red cherry nope red cherry and cherry blossom okay red cherry and cherry blossom are my favorite brands I'm not gonna go into like my favorite actual numbers of the lashes and my favorite lash adhesive is this new, well, I don't know if it's new, but it is the Duo. I have the box still. Um, this is a brush on for the strip lashes. And I think the brush on is just a lot. Can you see? Is that lighting? Okay. I think the brush on is just a lot more um, easier to use. It's so much better to apply it. And you just take the brush and swipe it on the lashes. And it's a lot better than the actual um, t tub or tube of glue okay I think I did everything if I didn't uh, you won't know the difference so thank you guys um, so much for watching be blessed most importantly be a blessing and I hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up don't forget to follow me on Instagram also make sure that you comment below I like to hear some feedback from you guys Okay. Keep it cute, keep it sweet, stay flawed, but yet fabulous. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. Mwah. Smooches.